This short presentation is about reflective practice as an assessment task. Reflection is what allows us to learn from our experiences. It is an assessment of where we have been and where we want to go next. Reflective practice is the thoughtful skill of thinking through and expanding on experience. This can include discussing an experience with another person. Reflecting on learning means examining what we are learning, how we are learning, and how we might change our way of learning. When you use reflective practice to examine how you learn, you might ask yourself the following questions. How do I usually get to the point of where I understand the content? Do I work best alone or with my peers? Do I encourage and model complex reasoning and problem solving in group discussions or when I am developing an argument? Do I ask my peers for feedback? How might I improve the way I come to an understanding? Questions such as these support you to understand your learning. Reflection allows us to discover what is not always self-evident. What we do with the information we gather through reflection is an important part of reflective practice. You may be asked to present this information for assessment in an e-portfolio. The purpose of such an assessment is to document your journey of learning and to provide evidence of this learning journey. When we present this information, it needs to be carefully and critically presented to the reader and or viewer. It needs to make sense, be coherent and grammatically correct. It needs to show that you have considered your learning and have thought about how you, your particular learning style works and or doesn't work for you. Most importantly, it must suggest ways of practicing in the future. So, how can you start a reflective journal? This is always the toughest part of any reflection assessment task. It is a good idea to begin a habit of documenting your thoughts, perspectives and lessons learned on a regular basis. You might do this through writing in a journal or blog, through recording your thoughts on audio or videoing yourself. The main point is to do it regularly so you are prepared for the assessment. These questions can help you to reflect well. What type of learning environment allows me to learn best and why? What are my normal habits of learning? If I leave everything to the last minute, why do I do this? Do I schedule my workload? Do I meet with others to learn outside of class time? Do these habits support my learning? Should I change them and how could I change them? How do I challenge myself to do the best work and why? It is important to understand that reflective pieces need to be coherent, connected to what is being asked of you as a learner, engaging, grammatically correct and directed towards making you a better learner and a better student, but most importantly, a better worker for the future.